double outlet right ventricle A double outlet right ventricle is a heterogeneous group of cardiac malformation characterized by complete origin of the PA and more than equal to 50% origin of the aorta or the PA in DORV with transposition from the morphologic right ventricle. The presence of the bilateral conus, subaortic and subpulmonary conal tube also called as infundibulum and lack of the mitral aortic continuity and other characteristics used to define DORV. The only outlet for morphological LV is VSD. About 10% may have a restrictive VSD. The spontaneous closure of may, uh, which may be fatal. The classic pathological uh, classification of DORV centers on the location of VSD. It is to be noted that although important, the location of VSD alone neither defines the physiology nor is enough information upon uh, which to base the optimal decision for repair. The presence or absence of RVOT obstruction is critical uh, to physiology and clinical presentation. Depending on the location of the VSD in relation to the great arteries, DORV is classified into subtypes. The subaortic uh, type is most common. The VSD is located between the aortic valve and the superior margin of the VSD being the aortic annulus. Deoxygenated blood from the LV streams across the VSD to the aorta and deoxygenated blood from the RV flows mainly into PA. With RVOT obstruction, the presentation is similar to tetralogy of fellow, where a subaortic malalignment VSD is also present. Without infundibular pulmonary stenosis, the physiology is similar to that of large VSD with heart failure secondary to pulmonary overcirculation. Subpulmonary toxic being anomaly. The VSD is positioned below the pulmonary valve. In this type of oxygenated LV, blood streams across the VSD into the pulmonary artery, causing the pulmonary overcirculation with the heart failure. While deoxygenated RV blood flows from aorta, causing the cyanosis similar to the transposition of a great vessel. There is common association with coarctation of aorta, aortic arch, hypoplasia, subaortic, and stenosis. The toxic wing heart is usually applied for hearts with subaortic and subpulmonary coni, side by side grade vessels, and subpulmonary VSD. Doubly committed type VSD lies immediately beneath both great vessels with no intervening infundibular septum. Presentation is similar to subaortic variant depending on the presence of the pulmonary stenosis. Non-committed type VSD is removed from both the great vessels and located below the coronal septum or the junction of the coronal and muscular interventricular septum. The distance is more than uh, the diameter of the aortic valve. Presentation is similar to subaortic variant depending on the presence of pulmonary stenosis. So if uh, the VSD is located subaortic, uh, the RVOT obstruction is absent and patient's clinical presentation is just like a VSD and can also present um, uh, with RVOT obstruction in tetralogy of fellow. In subpulmonary VSD, RVOT obstruction is absent and the clinical presentation is TGA VSD. Subpulmonary or TGA, the RVOT obstruction is present and uh, these are ductal dependent lesion. 
doubly non-committed RVOT obstruction can be absent in VSD and present in tetralogy of fallow. Clinical presentation in early double outlet right ventricle at average of two months. The major determinant of the presentation are the relation of VSD to the great vessel and the presence and absence of infundibular pulmonary stenosis. Patient um, may be in, in a congestive heart failure from pulmonary circulation or a restrictive VSD causing LVOT obstruction or have a cyanosis due to pulmonary blood flow restriction. Diagnosis by electrocardiography and it's important to characterize the size, location, restriction number and uh, commitment of the VSD to the great vessel besides uh, showing other associated malformations such as pulmonary stenosis, coronary anomalies, cardiac catheterization is not required unless there is unclear information about the coronary artery anomalies periphery peripheral pulmonary artery stenosis and pulmonary vascular disease. The definitive treatment of double outlet right ventricular uh, surgical correction patient can be temporarily managed with medical therapy for congestive heart failure symptoms or with PGE to keep the duct open to increase the pulmonary circulation in the case of cyanosis, the surgical goal is to ideally achieve a biventricular repair with appropriate ventricular concordance by 6 to 12 months of age without ca causing right or left outflow tract obstruction. In cases where one of the ventricle is not been developed, the VSD is not committed and there is severe overriding of the AV valves or there are multiple VSDs and a univentricle uh, repair may be required. A definitive repair is not possible due to the pa uh, patient size, clinical condition or other variables. The palliative procedures such as PA band in case of the pulmonary overcirculation or systemic to pulmonary artery shunt in the case of cyanosis due to restriction of the pulmonary blood flow may be required. 10% of the patient um, will have a restrictive VSD causing the restriction to the outflow from the LV and this may require enlargement. Double outlet uh, right ventricle with subaortic or doubly committed VSD without pulmonary stenosis. Patient should undergo the repair before six months to abate the development of pulmonary vascular disease from the unprotected pulmonary circulation. It is repaired with a right intracardiac baffle using the prosthetic material like a dacron or autologous pericardium to direct the blood from VSD to the aortic annulus. The VSD needs to be enlarged uh, anterior superiorly in order to avoid the conduction system. If the size is small, then the aortic annulus to make a non-restrictive. In order to prevent the RVO2 obstruction from the baffle, distance between the tricuspid annulus and the pulmonary valve needs to be equal or greater uh, than the aortic annulus and if there is a risk of RVOT obstruction an outflow patch augmentation may be necessary. Double outlet uh, right ventricle with sub or doubly committed VSD with pulmonary stenosis. The treatment is similar to tetralogy of fellow however the VSD is closed by the creation of the tunnel rather than the straight uh, patch. Performing an infundi velotomy is generally recommended because of the subpulmonary stenosis is almost always present and since the pulmonary circulation is protected because of the stenosis repair may be delayed up to two years of age depending on the degree of the symptoms. Double outlet right ventricle with subpulmonary VSD a baffle closure of the VSD to pulmonary artery and the arterial switch is performed in these patients. If there is an arch obstruction as in tausig bing heart, additional reconstruction of the arch is required under circulatory arrest. Early repair is recommended due to increased susceptibility to develop irreversible pulmonary artery disease in the variant. In the great vessels lie side by side and adequate separation of the tricuspid 
and the pulmonary anuli and the cardiac repair with the baffle that runs posterior to the pulmonary artery from BSD to the aortic annulus can be performed with Kawashima operation. So the subpulmonary VSD uh, toxic being oxygenated blood from the LV directed to PAD saturated systemic blood directed to aorta severe cyanosis. W outlet right ventricle with non committed VSD. The VSD is typically of the inlet type and intraventricular and thus biventricular repair is difficult but it can uh, sometimes be accomplished by creating a tunnel from the left ventricle to the aorta anatomy consideration uh, to con uh, contraindicate a biventricular repair are multiple muscular vsd straddling the av valve tissue or the inability to reliably channel the remote vsd to the aorta this is a single ventricular strategy may be needed to be considered the double outlet right ventricle with some pulmonary vsd and pulmonary stenosis in this variant while the vsd can baffle to the aortic annulus the pulmonary stenosis is dealt with a great variety of reconstruction of rvot restelis procedure baffle from the vsd to the aorta with rv to pa conduit rev repatriation The procedure for uh, baffle from VSD to the aorta translocation of the main PA to RVOT without the pulmonary valve and the corda procedure posterior aortic arch translocation or biventricular outflow tract obstruction. Post surgical DORV, damage scale steel, and mo modified fond uh, dam could be done. Early complications associated with DORV are those with secondary to suboptimal configuration of the intracardiac baffle, residual VSD injury to the conduction system, subaortic obstruction, muscular shelf or restrictive VSD, and RVOT obstruction from tunnel. Late complications include subaortic obstruction from the fibrous tissue growth under the aortic valve. Thank you.